A police officer named Gaitonde was just transferred to a new police station in Panalam, a small North Goa, India town. Apparently, there are two police stations in that area, the old one and the new one inaugurated the last week. A man who looked like he was detained named Vijay Seldongkar was seen there. Flashback to the past time, Vijay was an ordinary person who owned a TV cable business. He once studied and dropped out in the fourth year. Together with Jose, he spent most of his time in the office, where he spent most of it watching movies. Vijay was known for his good nature and everyone who knows about him seemed to like him. One day when Vijay had his lunch in a tavern across the police station owned by a man named Martin. There, he saw an elderly couple sitting there depressed. He then asked what happened and the elderly couple told him about their son, who apparently was sentenced to jail by a corrupt police officer named Gaitonde because they couldn't pay their installment to a credit company. Turned out, Gaitonde was the cousin of the credit company owner. Despite having no relation between their son's case and the police, Gaitonde threatened to kill their son if they dared to report the case to the chief. Vijay then remembered one of the films where a man reported unlawful imprisonment, also known as habeas corpus. Vijay then decided to help them by introducing them to a lawyer that he knows, but shortly after, Gaitonde was seen walking towards the tavern. Vijay immediately asked the elderly couple to leave before Gaitonde saw them. Despite all the time he spent in his office, Vijay was a loving family guy. He loved his family so much. Together with his wife, Nandini, he had two daughters named Anju and Aneo. Nandini protested to Vijay because he spent too much time in his office, watching movies instead of spending it with his family. She asked Vijay to take her and her daughters on vacation and shopping in a nearby city, Panaji. During the trip, Anju told her parents that she was elected to represent her school at a high school camp in Goa. Vijay allowed her to attend it and Anju finally went to the camp. There, she was the center of attention for her beauty. One man who had a liking to her named Sam was often seen recording her. At the house, Vijay's brother named Rajesh visited to tell his brother that he, along with his organization had just closed a mine since it was not eco-friendly. One day, when having his lunch in Martin's Tavern, Vijay was acquainted with Rain, the contractor who worked for the new police station's construction. Not long after that, Gaitonde came to the tavern. He suspected Vijay of helping the elderly couple and was not fond of his action. Apparently, Gaitonde was a regular customer at Martin's Tavern but he never paid for anything he had eaten there. He instead told Martin to be grateful because thanks to the construction of the new police station, Martin's sales were affected. The workers there usually ate in his tavern and it was thanks to Gaitonde. Vijay who didn't like the way Gaitonde treated Martin then sarcastically implicitly mentioned Gaitonde's bad habit in front of the chief named Solent. One day when Vijay was digging a hole for compost, Nandini told him about a religious figure named Swami who apparently had planned a lecture in Panaji on 2-3 October. She asked Vijay to go there with the family. Suddenly, Anju came and told them about her camp and Sam, the man who often recorded the women during the camp. One day, Gaitonde met Rain in front of Martin's tavern. Turned out, Rain had reported Gaitonde's bad habit to the senior inspector there named Prabhu and Gaitonde didn't like that. Vijay then helped Rain because he knew that Rain had done the right thing. The next day, Nandini asked Anju to go to the market for shopping. When she was on her way from the market, she was intercepted by Sam. He then showed her the footage of her changing clothes and blackmailed her. He asked her to meet him alone in her backyard at the midnight and threatened to spread the video if she refused to do it. When she arrived home, she was afraid and didn't know what to do. Later that night, a rainstorm happened and Vijay decided to stay at his office. Meanwhile, at the house, Sam came to visit Anju. Turned out, Nandini was also there waiting for him. Because Anju brought her mom to meet Sam, he then threatened to spread the video. Nandini begged him to delete the video. Both Nandini and Anju tried to retrieve the phone from Sam but didn't manage to do so. Sam then promised to delete the video but asked Nandini to do something for him in return. The next morning, Vijay came home and was shocked to see his family who clearly was shaken from something. It turned out that an incident happened last night. Anju was about to hit Sam's cell phone with an iron rod, but instead, the rod hit Sam's head and killed him instantly. She then destroyed the phone with the rod. She tried to call Vijay but his office telephone was turned off. Amid the panic, both of them decided to bury Sam's dead body in their yard. Unfortunately, when they were doing that, Anu was there witnessing the incident. Nandini asked if what she did was wrong and Vijay said that it was not, because if she went to the police and reported what she had done, then Anju's life would be ruined. Vijay told her to stay calm and promised to protect his family at any cost. 
He then told them to clean up the evidence. VJ took Sam's phone SIM card because he remembered that the police might be able to track the phone if the SIM card was inserted into an active phone. He then asked everyone not to go anywhere and close the house until he came home. He said that he would take away Sam's car, but unfortunately, when he tried to enter Sam's car, the alarm was triggered and Guy Tonde who coincidentally was at VJ's neighbor's house heard the noise. Before he checked the noise, VJ had managed to turn it off, but unlucky for him, Guy Tonde had briefly seen him entering the car. On his way, VJ saw Swami's lecture banner and suddenly remembered when his wife told him about it. He then arrived at a phone store and bought a phone. He then gave the shop clerk the SIM card without touching it and asked him to put it inside the phone. When he left from there, the phone notified a message and a call. After that, he arrived at a truck station. He took the phone, cleaned his fingerprints from it, and dumped it on one of the trucks there. He then remembered about the closed mine from his brother Rajesh and decided to dump Sam's car there. When Vijay arrived at his office, Jose told him that he was gone for two days to attend Swami's lecture in the city. He was surprised to see Vijay being too kind, not like the usual him who often scolded him. When Vijay got home later, he told his family to get rid of their worries and fear on their faces and gestures because even an ordinary person like Jose was able to recognize the suspicion, which meant it would be even easier for the police who were experienced to recognize it. He then told his family to pack their belongings because he would take them to Panaji to calm things down for them. He told everyone to tell that they were going to Swami's lecture in Panaji if someone asked them, even though the event was already finished. Nandini then told Vijay that Sam was the son of the general inspector of Goa named Mira, a strict, intelligent, but cruel police officer. She would do anything, even torturing and killing for the sake of justice. Mahesh, Mira's husband was worried about Sam since he hadn't been home since last night but Mira told him not to worry about him. Vijay and his family took the bus to Panaji. The bus driver was familiar with Vijay. He didn't allow Vijay to pay for the trip. Vijay then went to Swami's last lecture venue then stayed at a hotel nearby. He and his family ate at a nearby restaurant, went to the cinema, and came back home. At home, Nandini and Anju who still looked worried were looking at Sam's grave in a yard. Vijay who saw them immediately told them to get rid of the fear and stay calm. He also asked them to keep every receipt that they had. One morning, the police suddenly came to see Vijay. Anju who saw the police arrival almost lost it if it was not because Vijay covered her crying face. Somewhere else, Mira started getting worried and suspected something wrong had happened to her son, Sam. She asked the cyber division to trace Sam's phone. From the results, Sam went very far from Goa to Kanchipuram, and after a while, his cell phone died. The police also received a finding in the abandoned mine. A couple of people swimming there found Sam's yellow car sank in the mine and the police estimated that the car had been sunk for almost two weeks. Mira didn't want the media to sniff the case and decided to investigate more of her son's disappearance case. According to the police cyber division investigation, Sam's phone last call notification was on October 2nd at 7 p.m. at Pondolum. After that, the signal was lost around 10.30 p.m. The phone was turned back on at 9.25 in the morning in Panaji until finally, the phone died in Kanchipuram. The police said that the cell phone that went off on the night of October 2nd and the one that came back on the 3rd of October was a different phone. Based on this information, the police limited their investigations to Goa. Mahesh was sure something might have happened to Sam. The police started spreading the case to every town's police station, including Pondolam. Gaitonde who saw the photo remembered that he saw Vijay driving the same yellow car before. He then tried to prove his suspicion by testing Vijay by himself. He deliberately asked for money from Martin in front of Vijay, but different from the usual him, he didn't react to his action, and when he said that the police had found a yellow car, Vijay looked shocked. Vijay then left from there, but before he went too far, Gaitonde who was there with Prabhu, said that if Vijay was the culprit, he would be anxious and looked behind. But somehow, Vijay didn't do it and Prabhu that very moment, believed that Vijay was not the culprit, different from Gaitonde who was sure that Vijay was indeed the culprit because he already saw him with the same car that was found in the abandoned mine. Back at his home, Vijay warned his family that sooner or later, the police would come to their house to investigate and it is possible for them to do anything, even violence to prove their statement, so Vijay told them not to be worried, never show fear in their faces, and not to change the made-up statement they had arranged no matter what. Vijay said that the police didn't have evidence about Sam that correlated to them and thus they were safe. He also said to Nandini that they were doing the right thing. There were only two options for them, whether to give up or fight for their freedom. 
The police then came to investigate Vijay's neighbor if they had seen him driving a yellow car, but Vijay's neighbor was not sure if he saw him doing it. Moreover, there were lots of yellow cars there. Long story short, Prabhu found out the fact that Anju was not Vijay's biological child, but the one that he found back when she was just a baby. He also found out that Anju went to a high school camp and met Sam there. Knowing that Vijay saved a baby made Prabhu even more sure that Vijay was a good guy and questioned Gaitande's accusations, but Gaitande kept denying the evidence. The police then went to Anju's school to investigate her. Anju who saw the police was initially panicked, but she suddenly remembered what her father told her. She then tried to keep her composure and faced the police to answer some questions. The police did an interrogation in the headmaster's office and asked some questions related to Sam's disappearance. Anju remembered that her father told her not to say anything that happened in the house. She answered every question calmly, even when Gaitonde tested her that the police had found out that she met Sam on October 2nd. She insisted that she didn't meet him and added that she and her family were not home at that time. They were out to Panachi to attend Swami's lecture on October 2nd and 3rd. The police then asked for permission from the headmaster to check on Anju's attendance on that day, but apparently, the school was closed on October 2nd and 3rd due to Gandhi's national holiday and Sunday. She was then told to return to her class. The police then met Nandini and Vijay to do an investigation. They both got a call from the school principal about what happened at the school earlier. They said that they had never seen a yellow car and had never known Sam. The police then said that they saw Vijay driving the same yellow car that Sam brought with him. The police were sure that Sam came to his house. Nandini finally blurted out saying that the family wasn't home on the 2nd and 3rd of October, even though the police haven't mentioned the date. Gaitonde felt like he had won the case and proven his accusation, but Vijay was better at twisting the fact. He reasoned that his wife was still shocked at what happened to Anju and said that they already knew about the date of the incident from the school headmaster, thus proving that their statement before was genuine and not made up nor covering any facts. Vijay added that Gaitonde's accusation was just to frame him because they never get along with each other. Vijay also said that his family was not home during the incident by showing the purchase receipt on that date. Vijay said that they had a habit of keeping the purchase receipt to track their expenses. Gaitande insisted that what he saw with the yellow car was Vijay. They then decided to meet Mira to tell her what happened but Mira said that there was proof of their travel receipt. She then asked the police to take Vijay and his family to meet her. The police would also check the authenticity of the receipt. Mira was sure that if Vijay was lying, he wouldn't be that smart for a person who only got to grade 4 of elementary school. Vijay and his family were interrogated in different rooms and asked what they did at Panaji on October 2nd and 3rd. It turned out that Vijay had already told his family before. He said that when they were interrogated and they had the perfectly same answers, the police might suspect them of making up their answers, especially if it was a matter of time. So, to avoid suspicion, both Vijay and Nandini would answer in detail, but Anju and Anu would not answer in detail. Vijay told everyone that the police might try to lie to reveal the truth and so they had to stay firm with their answer. On the other hand, Vijay's family and friends knew that they have been arrested for unclear reasons so they tried to brag to the police station. Some journalists also had been told that Vijay's family was accused of an unclear reason and were undergoing interrogation. Mira said that if there was something strange about the interrogation, she wondered how come a little girl could be so firm with her statement. Sadly, they couldn't prove that they were lying because they didn't have permission from the court to use a lie detector, and to get that permission, Vijay and his family must be proven guilty first. Mira then asked the police to interrogate those people who would have seen Vijay on October 2nd and 3rd, because if Vijay was lying, they wouldn't see him during that time. Apart from that, Mira also asked the staff of the hotel, bus, and restaurant that Vijay visited during his trip to Panaji to meet her as well. Rajesh met Vijay in the night to ask what happened to him but Vijay didn't say a word. He just said that the time would come when his help would be needed. It was the turn of the people that Vijay met for interrogation. Everyone said that Vijay really went to Panaji on the 2nd and 3rd of October and the hotel registration book also confirmed that Vijay stayed on the same date. Vijay was even able to tell the contents of Swami's lecture to Jose and Martin. Swami also said that it seemed Vijay and his family had indeed come because he could remember his lecture in detail. Mira was confused about what else to do, but somehow, she felt that Vijay's family was lying. Mira found out from the bus ticket man that Vijay took some money from the ATM at the bus station. Mira then asked to see the security camera footage at the ATM on October 3rd, the day when Vijay departed from Panaji to Pandolam. 
Mira asked how could the ticket man remember the exact date when VJ went for the bus because every day, there will be hundreds of passengers and it turns out VJ was a step further from the police. VJ deliberately went back to Panaji to meet everyone that he met on his trip before and reminded them that they met on October 2nd and 3rd and also attended Swami's lecture. So, psychologically, VJ messed around with their memory and altered it as he wished. Furthermore, Mira found out that someone recorded Swami's lecture to spread it to others, so that was how VJ could tell Swami's lecture in detail. Sadly, even with the evidence they gathered, they still couldn't prove that VJ was the culprit of Sam's disappearance case. The only strong enough evidence for them to prove VJ's guilty was the security footage from the ATM, but shockingly, when they looked at the footage on October 3rd, VJ was seen there taking money from the ATM, proving that he was indeed in Panaji on October 3rd. Mira tried to put together the puzzle of this case from the start. Mira concluded that it was true that VJ was at Panaji on the 3rd of October, but he lied when he said that he was there with his family on the 2nd and 3rd of October. Mira said that VJ was very smart. He and his family did go to Panaji to stay and eat at a restaurant, but that wasn't on October 2nd and 3rd. VJ said that his children were sick and didn't go to school for a few days after their trip and there was a note for the medicine, but Mira said that the medicine note was very easy to manipulate. Then Mira tried to repeat everything that VJ did on October 3rd, starting from taking Sam's car to doing all the same things alone, buying four movie tickets and four bus tickets so he could get a receipt on that date, and the next day on the 4th of October, he invited his family to do the same thing again, adding his name in the hotel registration book on the 2nd of October and put on a fake name on the 4th of October when the hotel staff wasn't looking, and when they came back on the 5th of October, VJ pretended to take money at the ATM but he actually didn't, after that, VJ watched Swami's recorded lecture in Panaji to get the details and later went back to Panaji to meet the same people and cleverly convinced them that he did go on the 2nd of October and comes home on the 3rd of October. VJ had played the entire police by manipulating the fact, but sadly, even after knowing all of that, Mira couldn't do anything since she had no solid evidence. The only thing that came to her mind was to use violence to force them to speak the truth. VJ and his family were taken again by the police to undergo another interrogation, it was Rajesh's time to help Vijay by contacting all the numbers on the paper that belonged to Vijay which were the journalist numbers in India. Mira said that all of Vijay's plans had been uncovered but they still insisted and did not want to confess. Violence was finally carried out. They were beaten and battered until Alex, Sam's friend, came to convey his testimony. He said that he was the one contacting Sam before he got lost. Sadly, he didn't tell Alex where he was going or where he was. Alex then told everything to Mira, about Anju's video that Sam took secretly and about his plan to blackmail Anju for his personal entertainment. Mira was very surprised to hear this, but on the one hand, she was even more convinced that Vijay's family was the perpetrator. Once again, she asked Vijay to tell the truth because she already knew the video, but Vijay still said that he didn't know anything. Mira then asked Gaitande to do anything so they would all agree to confess. Vijay, Nandini, and Anju still insisted on their statement, so Gaitande targeted Anu. He took everyone out of the room but kept Anu inside. Mira said that Anu wouldn't be able to tell the truth if her parents were still there with her. Outside, Anju and Nandini who were too worried about Anu told Vijay that they wanted to tell the truth but Vijay forbade them because they had gone this far and couldn't hold back anymore. He promised that nobody from them would end up in jail. Inside, Mahesh scolded Mira and asked for this all to stop because what they were doing was against the law. After all, they still didn't admit it. Mahesh said that it was nice to say that Gaitande's accusation could be wrong. Gaitande who was engulfed with emotions suddenly slapped Anu, hard enough to scare her and spill the truth. Anu finally told where they buried Sam, the police then went to the grave. Journalists and people were seen at the scene. Vijay's family and friends told the journalist about Gaitande's bad habit. On the other hand, the excavation was unstoppable. Slowly, a rotten smell coming from the grave started spreading. But shocking, when they found the source of the rotten smell, it was not Sam's body but a body of a dead animal. Vijay then approached Rajesh and told him that Gaitande had beaten his daughter, Anu, for the sake of the investigation. Everyone who was fed up with Gaitande's bad demeanor finally barge in and beat Gaitande. The news of the case was spread where the police had tortured Vijay's innocent family. Many demonstrations took place everywhere. Gaitande was discharged from his job as a policeman, Prabhu and the other policemen that were involved in the case were transferred, Mira was off duty for an unspecified time, and the police were not allowed to interrogate Vijay's family if they don't get permission from the court. Nandini said that Mira's family life had been ruined even though it was not entirely their fault. 
VJ was happy to know that his wife didn't have a grudge against Sam's family, but in the end, if the situation was reversed, he was sure that Mira's family would also do the same without considering who was wrong or right. Nandini asked when did he move Sam's body and it turned out, VJ moved Sam's dead body at the time when he came back home on October 3rd night. VJ kept a secret about where he buried Sam's body even though it was to his own wife. From the start, VJ was very sure sooner or later, one of them would admit where the body was buried so he decided to move the body and replace it with a dead animal corpse. Suddenly, the police came, not to arrest VJ, but to tell him that he was asked to meet Mira and Mahesh. Mahesh said that they met him not as the inspector general or a businessman, but as parents. They both really love their only son, Sam, and they know that they spoiled him so much, resulting in his bad demeanor and the incident. They said that they were moving to London, but before that, Mahesh begged Vijay to tell them what happened to Sam, because all this time, they were tormented and hoped that Sam was still alive. Sam didn't say a word and they decided to leave, but suddenly, Vijay apologized. He said that his little family lived in harmony until one day, an uninvited guest entered his house and wanted to disturb his family. They tried to stop him but he didn't want to hear it and somehow an incident happened. They made the uninvited guest go to a place where there is no way back. Vijay implicitly confessed that he had murdered Sam, but in a very polite way possible. He said that his family was the most important and at that time, he didn't see right and wrong, and once again, he apologized from the bottom of his heart. In the end, VJ went to the new police station to meet the new senior inspector that replaced Prabhu to sign the case. The inspector said that he must be very proud for fooling the whole police. He was sure that Sam's body would definitely be found. VJ said that he really respected the police and it was impossible for him to fool the whole police. Finally, VJ said that he believed the new inspector and the new police station would always protect him.